Hey Bluetooth, it's Ryan from Movies with Ryan, and we're here with a video about the rest of my collection. As you can see behind me, it is all up on the shelf, with the exception of my box sets and my TV sets. So today we're going to finish those up and get those out of the way. So let's get started. Okay, I'm not really going to do this in any certain order. I'm going to try to do my TV box sets and individual TV shows first and then get into my regular box sets and my arrow stuff and all that. So to start off with some of my TV series, complete series stuff. We've got Akira Kurosawa's Samurai 7, the complete series. Of course, this is an animated show based on the Samurai 7. Sorry, I thought somebody was at the door. Next is a TV show that I loved as a kid. I uh, thought it was very ahead of its time. Every week was thrilling and suspenseful. You never knew where it was going to go next. Quantum Leap. And this is the Mill Creek uh, Complete Collection. Uh, the only issue with this is the packaging is very, very bad. And I ordered it from Hamilton Book, and the package did come a little damaged, but it's Quantum Leap, the full season, or full series, I should say. Gotta love it. Next is a series I bought solely for the fact that it is Kung Fu. And that is Kung Fu, the complete series, the complete collection. I used to watch this when I was little. Uh, of course, David Carradine as the master, wandering the planes, trying to impart wisdom on people while using Kung Fu. Figured I'd buy it, revisit it. Next is a series... When I got out of school, every week I had to get home and watch this. This is what started me probably on anime, animation, you know, Japanese things. But that is Voltron, the complete series. All 124 episodes. Love it. Now, moving on. A show that I disregarded for a long time. Uh, I still have not watched The Office. Um, just not really my style, I thought. But with the rise of Chris Pratt as Star-Lord and a couple of his other uh, movies he did, I got into Parks and, Re Parks and Rec. And of course, this is the full DVD series. I actually really enjoyed this TV show. I really did kind of enjoy how they filmed it. Um, one of these days I will get around watching The Office, but as of for now, I just haven't. Now... Moving on to my days of being in the medical field, one of my favorite TV shows, House. Of course, everybody knows House is the genius doctor that at the last minute figure, figures out what's going wrong and treats his patients, even though he's got a cynical view of the world. Love this TV show. It was always something new every week. Also, having to do with probably... My career as a volunteer firefighter, one of my favorite shows that kind of showed real life, kind of teetered on the edge of non-believable, Rescue Me, 2004 to 2011, the complete series, special box set. Dennis Leary there on the back, it's all nice and shiny. Of course it opens up, I'm not going to open it all the way up, opens up into a big opening Rescue Me. Love this show. Really touched on a lot of things a lot of people had trouble with after 9-11, a lot of the firefighters and all that. So moving on, one more big box set I got here on my TV show. It's a little, or box sets of TV shows, I should say. Futurama. The big box set with all the seasons. Love the show. I always throw it on in the background whenever I'm doing something. Great TV show. Of course, it was on, got canceled, came back. Lovely show. So let me get some more stuff up here, and we'll continue our viewing. All right, and we're back. Uh, this is going to be a bunch of randomness, because that's basically how it is until I actually get it up on the shelves. But uh, starting off, another thing. The Pacific in the nice collector's tin. I have not watched this yet. I have watched Band of Brothers, which is right here. In the original DVD collector's tin. 
Really love the Band of Brothers. I uh, just have never taken the time to watch the Pacific. Maybe one of these days I'll get around to it. Now, the next thing, Netflix original specials. Is this? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Of course, the special edition VHS version of Stranger Things Season 1. Season 2. Really like this show. I wish they would come out with Season 3. Hopefully, uh, I think in January when they come out with Season 4 that they'll release Season 3. Another random thing here. Dave Chappelle Show, the complete series. Now, this is everything that he put out, plus all the bonus and deleted stuff. Really good set. Cobra Kai, season one and two. Still haven't watched this yet. Love Cruddy Kid, haven't watched the show. Random anime, uh, Desert Punk. I know, anime. Gotta love it. Uh... Trying to collect, I think there's four of these total. I don't know if the part three and part four have a release, but an evening with Kevin Smith, one, and then uh, evening with Kevin Smith, even harder, evening harder. Yeah, I can't talk. Uh, haven't really checked those. I don't know if there is a third or fourth one been released, but I know they do exist. Uh, moving on to another show I have not watched yet, but I bought it. Uh, bought it. Bought the whole series, actually the next two, I bought the whole series, a uh, family video. Went out of business last year, I believe, and they had a huge, huge discount on all of their uh, physical media. So in that, I bought True Detective Season 1. And surprisingly, for rental store copies, they are mint condition. Season 2. And season three. And then I also picked up Fargo, season one. Season two. And season three, which I only found on DVD. I don't know if this actually has a Blu-ray uh, release. Right, moving on, yep. So a couple more things. Uh, Simon Pegg, one of my favorite actors. Uh, of course, he is responsible for Shaun of the Dead and the Cornetto Trilogy. This was his TV show that uh, kind of started everything over in uh, the UK, and that is Spaced. It's got all the episodes on it. And then one of my favorite TV shows in my later teenage years, I guess, maybe early 20s. I really don't remember when this came out, but it's the Judd Apatow uh, show, Freaks and Geeks, that started a lot of people's careers. is the Shout Factory, the original DVD release. And then it's follow-up, Undeclared, which is the college years. If anybody's ever seen this, this is actually probably just as good as Freaks and Geeks. So let me get some more stuff up and we'll continue on. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, this is gonna finish out the last of the live action stuff I have in box sets and for TV. And then after that, it's gonna be animated. And then I've got a couple more uh, live action box sets and some Arrow stuff. So let's get it started. John Adams, the complete series, Paul Giamatti. I haven't watched this yet. I've heard it's really, really good. I picked it up on a, another YouTuber's recommendation. I haven't got around to watching it. Gotta have this, the original Star Wars trilogy unedited and edited it's supposedly i haven't watched this in a long time i do remember it does have the unedited versions and i believe it does have the george lucas screw-ups on it randomness the andy melanakis show season two found this at family dollar for like 4.95 went ahead and picked it up i know there's two more seasons need to find them pick them up next still got sticker residue on it but it's the Project Greenlight season, yes, the complete second season. And the reason I picked this up, just because this was a good series. Uh, HBO, I think, like Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, yeah. They go around, talk about movie making, get people to make movies. And this has Shia LaBeouf, The Battle of Shaker Heights. This is the only way to really get this uh, movie, other than pirating, I guess, but... Project Greenlight, Season 2. Moving on. Uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you see in the background, um, it's the Always Sunny in Philadelphia posters. 
that room that I film in upstairs actually has a lot more It's Always Sunny stuff in it because It's Always Sunny is one of my favorite TV shows. Hence why I have season one and two. Season three. Season four. Season five. Season six. Season seven. Missing season eight. Season nine. There's still like six more to go, but I don't have them. And then the Christmas special. Again, it's one of my favorite TV shows. So next we're gonna move on to animation. Moving on, animation. FX TV shows. Love me some Bob's Burgers. Season one. Missing season two. These things are hard to find and very expensive. Season three. Luckily I picked these three up secondhand. Season four. And then probably one of my favorites, Archer. Season one. Season two. Season three, four, Archer Vice, season five, season six, season seven, season eight, Dreamland, season nine, Danger Island. A lot of those I actually picked up in McKay's in Nashville for like a dollar each. I could not believe it. Now moving on, you've heard me talk about in some of my videos, in the pickup videos, I love my Adult Swim animation. And everything else uh, from these piles are from Adult Swim. So, Rick and Morty, Season 1. Rick and Morty, Season 2. He's Pickle Rick, Season 3. Season four, another twisted uh, cartoon TV show. Australia got a release, and I wish I could find it, but it's very, very rare. It actually has seasons one, two, and three in it, but I, it hardly ever comes up on eBay. Uh, when I have seen it, it's been very expensive, but that is Moral Oral, and this is just the American season one release. Show's very, very weird. Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Metal Apocalypse, season one, season two, and again with these Adult Swim things, I am trying to get all their seasons. Venture Brothers, season one, season two, season three, season four, part one, part two, Coffee Stains, five. And the only one I'm missing is six, and this is the one I picked up on Blu-ray not too long ago, season seven. And finally, rounding out the Adult Swim stuff, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, volume one. Volume two. Volume three. Volume four. Five. Six, and then Robot Chicken, season one, season two, season three, season four, season five, season six. So that does it for the Adult Swim anime. So we'll move on to the last of the box set. When I was doing the video for all these movies, uh, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, man, where'd my Batman go? And I didn't show off my Lord of Rings and The Hobbit. Well, that's because they were sitting over, way over there, with the rest of my box sets. But here's the whole Batman trilogy. And a very nice box. This almost kind of feels faux leather. Let me see if I can get it open here. Yeah. Comes with a nice book with, as you can see it, got a bunch of the different art, the props, drawings, concepts, and all that stuff. Pretty neat. And of course it opens up. 
But I uh, really thought about upgrading this to 4K. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, maybe waiting for a price drop. Maybe Black Friday you can pick it up for fairly cheap. But right now I think it's running $70, 80 $90. Lord of the Rings. Extended edition. Nice little set. I haven't upgraded 4K. I really want to get the steel books, but there's been such a debacle with that. The case is getting dented and all that. Of course, now the Lord of the Rings is pretty much sold out, except for on Fanac.com. Still find the Hobbit, though, in the stores. Maybe one day I'll shell out the $100 for it. But Hobbit, the complete series. And then if you've seen in my last couple of videos, I've been hunting these down. But all three of them, I finally do have them back yet. In the special editions. Of course, the Fellowship. The Two Towers. And then Return of the King. So double dip on Lord of the Rings. Maybe I'm going to triple dip one day. I'm not too sure. I would really love to have the one that looks like the encyclopedias, the first Middle Earth collection. That would be great, but it's expensive and hard to find nowadays. We're almost done. So let's move on to my European release stuff. Uh, found this for $3 at a vendor market. Eureka's The Ninja Trilogy. Now, the Ninja Trilogy is Enter the Ninja, Revenge of the Ninja, and Ninja 3 Domination. Cheesy ninja movie. Uh, they used to play late night TV back in the 80s and 90s. But I was pretty happy about it. It's a Eureka, like I said, Eureka release. The Ninja Trilogy. I love ninja stuff. Now, the next thing. Kenji Fukasaku's Battles Without Honor Humanity. Uh, this was in the 70s, I believe. Uh, there's five movies in here, and even though there's only three things. This is the re-release of Arrow's box set that just came out earlier this year. The original box set was much bigger. It actually had, I believe, each individual disc had their own, uh, or each individual movie had its own box. There's five of them, and then there was a booklet. But this is basically what kind of kicked off the early let's get them out here the early yakuza gritty crime story movies out of japan out of the 70s early 80s still haven't got around to watching these i need to and then kenji followed it up later a few years later with the new battles of honor and humanity and this is the last days of the boss, the boss's head, and the new battles without honor and humanity. This is what the original box set, this one looked like. It had a nice little, you know, each movie had its own individual case plus a booklet. I forgot to say, this is Battles Without Honor and Humanity, Hiroshima Deathmatch, Proxy War, Police Tactics, and Final Episode. So it came out these. Kenji did a bunch of other stuff. Came back and revisited it with the new Battles of Honor and Humanity. Now in the same vein, uh, also by Kenji, Graveyards of Honor. Now this is a two movie set. You have Kenji's version of Graveyards of Honor. And then you have Takashi Miike's Graveyards of Honor. Now you've heard me talk about Takashi Miike probably. Anytime I show one of his Blu-rays, I always say his name. He's probably one of my favorite Japanese directors. He's directed over 110 movies now, I believe. But he has done some of my favorites. Uh, Audition, 13 Assassins, Ichi the Killer, Graveyards of Honor. Great stuff. Now, a box set that I just showed off recently. The Dama Jin. See if I can pronounce it right. The three movie set. I love these arrow box sets, like I said. They're just super nice. And then something that made me decide to go region free. Actually, this is the reason I went region free. Arrows box set of the Vengeance trilogy, which is Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy, which everybody should know, Old Boy. And then Lady Vengeance. 
yeah. I look at something there. At a, I guess, disc three, which is says old days. Which old days is an old boy story, a claimed feature length documentary about Park Chan Wook's masterpiece. Okay, didn't know that. I actually hadn't read the back of this, but of course you got sympathy for Mrs. Mrs. Or no, that's Lady of Vengeance. Sorry, that's the third movie. Old Boy, which if you see this cover, if you didn't know what Old Boy is, now you know. The remake sucks. And then Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. These movies are just brutal. Very good. Uh, highly suggest them if you've never watched them. And again, the reason I went region free right here. Vengeance Trilogy. Um, yeah, that's it. And then rounding it out, my last thing here, my last box set, my last import, it's an Artificial Eye release. The works of Bong Joon-ho. This uh, has Barking Dogs Never Bite, Memories of a Murder, The Host, Mother, Snowpiercer, Parasite, and then the black and white version of Parasite. This box set is super nice. There's the back of it. it tells everything that's in there. Open this up. Got some art. Of course, there's Bong Joon Ho himself. Opens up. He's got art from his movies in here. Ooh, there's some cards. Get that put down. There's three movies. Very nice set. And four more. Of course, this has to be imported from the UK. Uh, this was never sold in America. Of course, you can buy it on um, Diabolic DVD, uh, a couple of the other United States importer websites. But can't wait to dig into this. Uh, I have seen Parasite. I uh, have seen Snowpiercer. Both very, very good movies. And I'd love to see the rest of them because I've heard they're really good. Now, I know Memoirs of a Murder just got... A Criterion release, I believe, uh, earlier this year or last year, I don't remember. Didn't pick it up because I already had this set coming to me. So that's going to do it for that. Um, that's going to round out the rest of my movies that I own. So, yeah. Uh, I would like to say at the time of this video, uh, me filming this video, I'm at 48 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I uh, never thought I would be at 48. I never thought I'd be at four or eight. But I really appreciate everybody that has subscribed. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the views. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the comments. If you have not subscribed, if you have not liked, please do. It really does help out. It lets the channel get out there in the algorithms. It helps in the search features. And plus, hey, you get to see movies. Who doesn't want to see movies? So, Again, this has been Ryan with Movies with Ryan, and until I see you again, have a good night.